The highly anticipated Discovery Series 12 from Bargetown is here. How good is it? Disco, 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 disco. Disco 12. We got this right here. We picked this up in Indiana when we were on a trip to Kentucky Bourbon Festival. So we've drank a little bit of it, as you can see here. That, a little bit. Yeah, yeah, this is good. <laughs> so Disco 12, uh, the highly anticipated one that uh, has a crazy mash bill on here. 48% of it is 14 year Kentucky. Uh, what is it? We're gonna put the mash bill thing up on the screen and you can see what we're talking about. 29% uh, is 10 year Kentucky. 15% uh, is 10 year Kentucky. And then 8% is Bardstone, Bardstone's, Bardstown's own distillate that's six years. How much is this? This is 140 bucks. Retail. Retail, 140 bucks. And, you can and I it. did hear they produce less bottles of this in Disco 11. I don't know how many bottles they have or how hard it is to find in places. I know we have not seen it in Colorado yet, so we didn't pick it up out of the state. Also, we can't really compare it to um, other ones because we drank we them, them all. all. <laughs> I, I think, think we, I think we might have a six or a seven over there, but uh, and a four. yeah, yeah, we do have four back there. Um, <laughs> but yeah, we can't compare it to the most recent Disco Eleven. So but, sorry, <laughs> sorry about that. But also, we're gonna try it. We're gonna tell you our thoughts on it, give you our review, and then we're gonna let you know if, if you well, should buy this. If you should buy it. If you should buy it and back it up or if you should just get a pour of it. So here we go. Thank you guys for being here. If you have not subscribed yet, hit that subscribe button, hit the like button, leave us a comment, and tell us your favorite Discovery series so far. Two or three so far for me, I think. Really? Yep. I do love four. Two uh, or three is better, but that's not this. I don't know. Here we go. <laughs> Cheers. All right. Ooh, that's sweet. Fruity. It's really sweet. 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 Don't look like you said fruit and I just got strawberry. I do get some strawberry, actually. Some vanilla, a little bit of oak. I think there's good oak in it. It's kind of balanced on the yes, nose. Yes, it's very balanced. But sweet, definitely sweet. I like the oaky sweetness that it's got. Like it's it's not over, it's not like one of those. It's not just sweet or it's not just oak. It's mm -hmm. got a good balance of those. I get this like grapey raisiny vibe Ooh, going on. I just on. got grape too. Yeah. I just definitely got grape. Definitely like a grape. It kind of gives me like a buffalo tree slash buffalo trace, turkey, but, but like a cherry there, note too. There is some. Turkey? Schmirky. Schmirky. There is some schmirky in there. I could definitely smell that. I, I, I what is it? I can't remember what the mash was. I thought 73. Don't, I'm not sure if I'm correct on this or not, but I think it's turkey. I think there's Heaven Hill and Heaven Hill in there. That's what and I then heard. I think that's what's the blend. I didn't even know that there was turkey in there. Yeah, that's the old stuff. I believe that's what the old stuff is. I don't know. I could be wrong. Who knows? But I do get some of that like cherry grapey vibe. Yeah, it smells good overall. It even kind of has like this almond note to it. I just got like a baking type thing yeah. on it. All right, let's taste this. It's dark. Look at that. It is it very is dark. really dark. It's super fruity on the top of your palate. Fruity, spicy. I get a little bit of cinnamon. I get a little bit of cinnamon bear. Kind of weird. I um, don't get a whole lot of spice. Sweet, oaky, very balanced. Mm -hmm. It is a really good whiskey. It is. It is a really good whiskey. As you can tell. <laughs> we, we, we've we drank some, and we had some cigars with it last night, too, and it paired very well with cigar, too. I got this vibe of, like, a cherry Tootsie Pop. Oh, I can see that. A cherry Tootsie Pop, and then it goes into this, like, almond baking, and then this, like, there's so many layers. This is a very complex bourbon. It is very. It's, like, very layered forward. It makes me think of, like, ogres, they, or onions, they have layers. But it doesn't <laughs> taste like an onion. It just has a lot of layers. Yeah, it doesn't want to taste like an onion. No. I do think this is really good. I really, really good. I do really like this. And I think that this will be one that will definitely end up in the top 10 of I, bourbons of the year. I 100% think so. For, I, for us, it's going to end up in our top Now, 10. I know hundreds of you are going to ask this in the comments because I've seen this happening in a lot of videos lately. You're going to say, how does this compare to Ru uh, Russell's 15? How does this compare to Koi Hill? Things like that that we're like really, really hyped up on. We'll figure that out at the end of the year. We will, but <laughs> like instantaneously... I still think that Russell's 15 is better. Is better. I do think that Koi Hill is better, but I would have to try them blindly. But this is one you can probably easier, 
easily easier find whatever find word. easier find easier <laughs> you can definitely find this easier it's Russell's more attainable oil. it's yeah. definitely more attainable yeah. so it's more affordable so 140 bucks you buy expensive. in this bottle uh yes i'm yes. buying it too i think it will back back it up i think we should buy another I, yes one. uh we are going to buy another one of these so it's, it's it's a really good bottle i would i would bunker this bottle i hate to say that but i would bunker this bottle Nothing wrong with it. Yeah. If you really <laughs> like something, then you get I a like lot it. of it. It's, I, I like it. And it's not like you can't just... I, I mean, I know some places you can't find these, but I mm -hmm. think you can actually go to the distillery and buy these. So it's like... we Our second home has become Kentucky, and we go there a lot. We so. may be there when this video comes out a week after that or something. I don't remember when it's coming out, so... Yeah. <laughs> Anyhow, we are big fans of this bottle. We really, really enjoy it. I can't wait to see where it ends up in mm -hmm. the bourbons of the year at the end of the year, but I definitely think it's going to be in the top 10, if not the top 5. Whoever from Barstown blended this one, kudos to you. This blend is fantastic. Yeah, I, the blend I, is very, very I well I don't done. know if Dan Calloway did this blend, because if I remember right, when we did our tour a couple years ago, they said they basically have a lot of people like oh, yeah, do the blends and enter them in com yeah. competitions or something, and then the competitor wins. Like, what was it? Like a chef did Disco 4 or something mm -hmm. like that. I think that's how they do it. But, who knows? Yeah, I don't know who blended it, but kudos to whoever did. It's a great blend. So we love it. We enjoy it. Now let us know your thoughts on this, if you've tried it, or if you're going to be going to look for it now, let us know. And that's all we got for you today. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'm Dara. I'm Bill. We'll see you next time right back here on The Average Drinker.